in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Today, it is lecture number 116, and we are going to introduce the new topic, Islamic Worships, Spiritual, Moral, and Social Impact. Now, first, uh, regarding this very topic, we will review the syllabus and past papers. This, this is the topic number one. We have already covered introduction to Islam, concept of Islam, importance of deen in human life, difference between deen and religion, distinctive aspects of Islam, Islamic beliefs and its impact on individual and society, and the fundamentals of Islam. Now, this is the topic which we are going to introduce today. And in the coming around four lectures, we will be covering this uh, aspect of syllabus. We are going in a very sequence, uh, in a sequential manner, covering all the uh, FPSC uh, outline in a sequence, uh, in, in a proper sequence and, and order. Now, this was the question which was asked about this, this topic. Uh, this was about Hajj. This was about Zakat. This was again about Zakat who are entitled to receive Zakat according to the Quran, elucidating social impact of Zakat, clarify how can poverty be elevated with its distribution in Islamic society. Now, this was uh, the question about prayer, which was asked in 2016. So basically, we are concerned with three kinds of impact. That is spiritual. That is uh, Spiritual moral and social impact. Now, coming to the Islamic concept of worships, Ibadah, there are defined ways to worship Allah Almighty, which are with words. We can Ibadah, we can worship Allah Almighty with words, with deeds, with money, with belongings, and with belief, like with words, there is prayer, prayer, uh, with deeds, we can do certain kinds of ibadah with deeds, and with money, we can pay the cart and we can do hajj, pilgrimage, and beliefs, they are also part of ibadah. Now, Islamic concept of worships cover five areas, but from examination point of view, the four areas are very important. One is prayer, then zakat, fasting, and hajj. In four topics, ke spiritual, moral, and social impact, we will talk in the four lectures. Mein. Abhi filhal, hum generally isko introduce kara dete hain topic ko, just to make the ground for the coming four lectures. Shahada means there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah Almighty. Now, in Surah Al-Baqarah, this is Surah number 2 and verse number 21, Allah says, O humanity, worship your Lord who created you and those before you so that you may become mindful of him. Now in Surah Azariyat, it is 51st Surah and it's verse number 56. Allah says that I didn't create jinn and humans except to worship me. Now, Surah Al-Imran, this is third Surah, it's uh, verse number 51, which says that surely Allah is my Lord and your Lord. This is with the words of Prophet. Uh, so, worship him alone, this is the straight path. Now, in Surah Al-Imran, uh, this is third Surah and uh, verse number 64, Allah says, 
say, O Prophet, O people of the book, let us come to common terms that we will worship none but Allah, associate, associate none with Him, nor take one another as nor take one another as lords instead of Allah, but if they turn away, then say, Be our witness that we have submitted to Allah alone. And next, Surah An Nisa, this is fourth Surah, verse number 36. Allah says, Worship Allah alone and associate none with Him, and be kind to parents, relatives, orphans, the poor, near and distant neighbors, close friends, needy travelers, and those bonds people. Bonds people mean the person in slavery at that time, and your possession. Surely Allah does not like whoever is arrogant and boastful. Now, there are two sources for the commandments of Ibadah. One is Quran and Ahadith. One thing I will clarify is that if you understand Islam in the right spirit, then we have these two better sources available. دین اسلام کو سمجھنے کا اور اللہ تعالیٰ کی ہدایات پہ عمل کرنے کے لیے ہمارے پاس دو سورسز ہیں قرآن اینڈ سننا اور جتنے بھی مجھے آپ سن رہے ہیں آئی وڈ سے آئی وڈ ریکومینڈ کہ آپ دین کو اپنی انڈرسٹینڈنگ کے ساتھ سمجھنے کی کوشش کریں اور خود ہی قرآن پاک اور احادیث کا مطالعہ کریں اور ان کی ٹرانسلیشن عربک ٹیکس کی ٹرانسلیشن اویلیبل ہے اس کو خود دیکھیں یہی دو اتھینٹک سورسز ہیں اور جو بات بھی سنیں اس کو ضرور ویریفائی کر لیں اور یہ اتھینٹک سورسز ہیں یہاں سے ہی آپ کو دین اسلام کی صحیح سمجھ آئے گی اور اگر اگر کہیں بات ہو کہ کیوں ہم اسلام کی صحیح سپریٹ کو سمجھ نہیں پائے جس کی وجہ یہ ہے کہ ہم ان دو سورسز سے دور ہو گئے ہیں ہمارے دین کو سمجھنے کی جو سورسز ہیں اگر وہ ان کو علاوہ ہوں گے قرآن اور سننا کے علاوہ ہوں گے قرآن اور حدیث کے علاوہ ہوں گے تو پھر ہمیں صحیح سمجھ نہیں آئے گی تو دین کو صحیح سمجھنے کا دی رائٹ وے ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اینڈ ٹو پریکٹس اسلام از تھرو قرآن اینڈ اینڈ سننا اینڈ احادیث سو یہاں سے دو سورسز سے یہ عبادہ کا کنسیپٹ جو ہے وہ سامنے آتا ہے اینڈ دین دی لاسٹ لائٹ دیٹ از اباؤٹ وین دے آر میڈ ابلیگیٹری پریئر was made obligatory in 10th year of prophethood, 10 Nabvi. Zakat and fasting was made obligatory in 2nd Hijri. And Hajj was made obligatory in 9th Hijri. So in next lecture, I would be discussing the spiritual, moral and social impact of prayers. Salat. Or this is our next lecture. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.